Welcome you to week two in our creative strategy course. Can you believe we've already had discussions about what it means to be creative? And many of you have shared interesting dialogues and discussions about what that term creative creativity means and creative thinking and all that it entails. And I have enjoyed exchanging with you and listening to your ideas about what creativity means. Here we are in week two, and we will be exploring the way that um, we use digital means to communicate not only that, but more importantly, digital literacy and citizenship. Our course says that not so long ago, people considered email to be something so foreign. Here's the quote. Not so long ago, I could freak people out by talking about cyber culture. It was fun. They laughed nervously when I'd say they'd be using email someday. A quote taken from Douglas Rushkoff, American media theorist, writer, and documentarian. Digital technology transformed the way people communicate. In just a few years, science fiction became fact. Global audiences communicate with digital tools around the clock. According to the Pew Research Center, texting is widespread in both wealthy nations and the developing world. So how can professionals keep up with ever-changing digital platforms for communicating with an audience? Which audiences have been left out or excluded from digital communication? How might communication professionals assist businesses NGOs, military, entertainment, and other organizations develop strategies to reach global audiences. This week, you explore audience access to digital skills and the concept of the digital divide. You consider strategies to reduce the possibility of digital segregation. You explore how digital reality has transformed communication practice. You also craft the problem statement and set goals for your course project. Now, we have learning objectives this week. Our first one is to evaluate the impact of digital segregation on audiences. Analyze communication strategies to address the digital divide. divide. Analyze communication strategies to promote social change. Analyze the impact of digital reality on the field of communication. Evaluate issues in communication. Analyze alignment of communication goals with organizational strategy. Reflect on key creative communication skills and concepts. So we have a lot to consider this week. And when we think about the term digital divide, obviously there are some gaps that are represented in that terminology. And I hope that you take time in your course resources and even in your collaboration activity to discuss this further as you delve deeper into how you can be the solution to someone's organizational challenge when it comes to how they communicate their given brand, their given program, and how you can help aid in that. Because we know that around the world, many people are using digital technology, but their access to that technology might be different compared to other places where the access is more easily attainable. So keep this in mind as you move forward, and remember to keep your journal and to engage as well as to delve deeper as you work to become great practitioners. Thank you. Bye-bye.